everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armel. I own a company called The Stock Swoosh and I'm here to review Amazon. Calm day here, market closed on a Saturday, getting into the end of October, really into earnings season right now. And last week in the market was a big week for stocks and Amazon was one of them. Gapped up huge, huge on earnings Thursday night and this rallied, every tech stock rallied and brought the market QQQs and the SPY to brand new all-time highs once again. So let's take a look at this. I talked about this last night on RT America. I just want to review this here. I didn't give any targets on, on, the, uh, on, on the show, but I wanted to because the stock really for yesterday, the target was 1100. So I had called an option trade in the morning for people on the gap options letter to buy 1100 calls that didn't expire till next week, which would be this coming week, November 3rd. So that was a great call because it went $5 through the strike in, in one day. So you could have done it as a day trade. But for the people that are still in the trade, the stock looks higher in the next week. It really depends how some of the reports come out that are happening this week. Another big earnings week, Facebook, Apple, BABA, all report this week. Market should continue higher into this coming week. And again, it's the last last couple days in October. Very bullish month for the market in October, uh, which is unusual. So the short term next target for Amazon is 11.25 and it's 20 points away from there actually as of the high from Friday. I don't think 1200 is out of the woods for this before the end of the calendar year. I don't think that at all or early 2018 if the stock continues higher. 1200, 1250. Those are the next numbers after the 1125 number. And it's not that the stock won't pull back before it goes to any of these numbers. I'm just saying that it, it, it might not because the stock really broke out. It traded in a very tight range in here ever since the failed earnings in July. And I did discuss this in a video, gosh, a couple weeks ago or a week ago, I don't even remember now, that this was an important earnings report for, for the stock. And it, and, and it did it. So it did it and more. Made brand new all-time highs Friday. And the stock looks great. This is a great example of what? A high-quality golden gap, a bullish golden gap, though, because this is a stock you would have gone long. So the stock gapped up, it was being bought by institutional money on the day. You can see the lift the stock made. It was bought up in the gap and then held the gap and ran up. When I saw this on Thursday night, I thought for sure this would hold on the day too, and it did. And then in the morning when, you, when I saw a trade, I mean, it was just, you saw that it was just gonna head like a, like a train, <laughs> barreling down the tracks to that 1100 number. And it closed almost near the highs. Look at that. Close was 1195 Amazing, amazing move for the stock. And I just want to point out that the previous day before the earnings announcement, it closed at 972.43, and the high on Friday, like I said, was 1105.58. So the stock traveled up 132 points plus within 24 hours. That is institutional money that bought the stock. Bought it up in the gap, bought it up in the day. The stock's higher. So there's no way could possibly think of doing anything to the sh to the short side in this stock. This is a bullish chart. It is one of the most bullish charts in the market. And like I said, it was really important for the stock to do something correct, which it did, and more, because it hadn't broken out all in this range ever since the last earnings report, which gapped down. We never went over the high here. So it was really important for the stock to make a move. In this case, it continued the trend. So we'll see where Amazon goes this coming week with the other tech stocks reporting. Like I said, Alibaba, Facebook, Apple, all up this week and the market higher too. If you're interested in more information and you want to learn how to trade gaps with me, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information. The next class is November 4th and 5th. And you can definitely learn how to trade gaps in my Golden Gap course. It's just a question of whether or not you really want to trade. Uh, I think trading is fun and if you know what to do it's even more fun you can make money in the market you just have to be very focused on what you're doing and you have to have a good strategy which i definitely do so nice call i made here in the option on friday even looks higher good luck everyone and i will see you next week